Hi, thank you to my subscribers and if you are not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. So in this video, we are going to see how to set up a new Cognito user pool and then create a public client which supports authorization code grant flow using Pixie and then test the end-to-end -end flow using Postman which is a very handy tool for testing APIs and these type of use cases. So if you don't know about Pixie, you can go to this website oauth.net and search for Pixie and you will find the documentation. So at a very high level, it is just a variation of the authorization code grant flow, where, which is mainly, and this is mainly used by the public clients like a single page app where the entire source code is visible to the end user. So the end user can basically view the source code from the browser. In that, in that way, they can even find the client secret. So in the, in the case of proof key for code exchange, you don't need a client secret to get tokens. Instead, a new parameter will be used called a code challenge, which is a dynamic value that gets generated for each and every request. And using that code challenge, you can get the tokens. And this is mainly to protect public clients like single page apps from exposing the client secret, which is a very key value when it comes to the OpenID Connect uh, authorization. So let's go back to AWS console and go to Cognito. And this is the new Cognito console that I'm using. You can even switch back to the old console if you want. And I'm going to create a new user pool. And these are some existing user pools which I had already created. You can ignore those things. I'm going to create a new user pool. So you can leave this provider types as Cognito user pool. We don't have to change anything. Here you can select username, email, and allow users to sign in with preferred username. In the next screen, you can again leave this password policy as it is. You don't have to make any changes. We don't really need a multi-factor authentication because this is just a, a proof of core, like, like we are just proof of doing a proof of concept. So we don't really need a MFA. If you're building a real application using Cognito, you can explore all these options. I will also disable this one because we don't really need this. I will again disable self-registration and this option as well. So in the required attributes, select email, family name, given name and name. And custom attributes are not required. Click next. Again, you can select send email with Cognito and we are not going to use it anyway. For the user pool name, Let's use test pixie pool and let's use the Cognito UI and set a Cognito domain uh, like this. So test pixie two. So the, the, you can give any random name and if it is available, you will see this green tick with the available word. And you need to create at least one client while provisioning the pool. So let's create a public client to test this end-to-end -end authorization code grant flow with Pixie. And let's name it as Pixie client. And we don't need a secret here. And for the callback URL, let's give a random URL for now. And later on, we can change it. And we can leave the remaining settings as it is. Here you can review the entire settings. If you want to make any changes, you can go ahead and make the changes and then create the user pool. So we have the user pool now, which is the test pixie user pool. And if you go to the app integration, you will see the application that we created, the public client. So let's now go ahead and create a user. And uh, so if you go to create user, you can leave all these things as it is and give some random username. You can give a dummy email address and mark it as verified if you want. And uh, you can set a password for this user and create the user. So the user got created and if you click this user profile again, you can go inside this profile 
and you can again add the remaining values so you can add the name test user one and email is already there I'm not going to set the phone number here you can click save changes so the user profile is configured the application is also configured you can see this pixie client so now the next step is how to test this entire flow so if you go to actually uh, uh, yeah if you go to this postman let's actually create a new request so you if you click the plus sign here you will get the new request and go to this authorization tab and here you can select OAuth 2.0 and uh, in this case right instead of authorization code change it to authorization code with pixie and let's give some random name for the token name I'm just going to give pixie token and in this case I'm going to do an authorize using browser so if you do authorize using browser this is the callback URL for postman so you need to copy this URL again go back to your uh, client which is here if you remember when we created this client we added a random callback URL called example.com slash callback so let's actually try to find that yeah it's here so let's go to edit and change that value and click save changes and the next step is uh, postman actually asks for different URLs like auth URL access token URL client ID and code challenge method it already selected 256 you can leave it and the code verifier which is used for the pixie flow if you leave it blank it will automatically generate and the scope like again you can put open id profile email and state you can give any random value i will just give one two three and now let's see how to get these two urls which is auth url and access token url so if you go to cognito documentation and search for just in google you just search cognito authorization endpoint you will get this url like you will get this page and here you can see the cognito authorization endpoint is actually the domain followed by slash oauth2 slash authorize so you can even scroll here and see some sample urls here so what I'm going to do is let's go back to our user pool and find the domain. If you again go to app integration tab, you have the domain here. Copy this, go to the Cognito uh, Postman uh, authorization tab, paste that URL and again go back to this documentation, copy this slash OAuth2 slash authorize. And similarly for the token endpoint, again copy the domain url put it here go back to cognito documentation and token endpoint copy this slash oauth2 slash token put it here so this is how you construct the urls for auth url and access token url whatever domain you have configured just add that domain and append the required values the authorization endpoint and the token endpoint so the next step is we need to give the client id so let's actually go here and find the client id again you need to go to the app integration tab click this pixie client in fact you don't even have to click the client id is already visible here copy it go back to postman give the client id and client secret if you remember we didn't even generate the client secret because we are testing a pixie client in this case we don't need a client secret so instead of doing a send as authorization header let's just put send client credentials in body anyway uh, because we don't have any secret it should basically be in a empty value which is sent in the body so let's try to test this flow 
When I click this get new access token, it should ideally open a browser and redirect me to the Cognito UI, basically the login page. So actually I got a pop-up. Let's uh, do this one. So it actually says invalid scope and invalid request. So somewhere the configuration is wrong. Uh, so this, if you remember the, I will cancel this authentication. We are actually doing a open ID profile and email. Let's check what is configured in this app client. So if you go to this app client, Oh, okay, so if you if you see this right, it has open ID email and phone. I don't need phone. I need open ID profile and email. So save changes. So this is something like you might also face some issues while testing. Just make sure all these configuration is fine. If if not, you can always come back and change it. So let's again go back to the screen. Try to get a new access token. Now I got the login page. So let's log in. Since I am logging in for the first time, Cognito will ask for a new password. I am setting the new password. From next time it won't ask. Click send and then you will get this screen which says open this URL in Postman. So you just click open Postman. So you got the tokens, the authentication is complete. Now if you click proceed, so you got the token here. So if you see, you have the access token, you have the ID token and the refresh token. So let's verify one by one token. Let's copy this access token, go back to Chrome and go to this website called jwt.io and see what is there in this access token. So we have a subject which should ideally match with this user. Uh, so let's go back to this user pool, this user, click this user name. If you look at this user ID, this should match with the subject here. So it exactly matches. And username is test user one and it has some other details. The client ID should actually match with the app client that we use for testing. So again, go back here, go to app integration, search for that client ID. You can see it exactly matches. Now let's verify this ID token. So if I look at this ID token, so you have the same subject, email verified as true, Username is test user one given name is test. If you remember, these are the values that we configured when we created that user. Name is test user one. Email is test user one at example.com. Family name is user one. So this is how you do the end-to-end -end setup. And I will show one additional thing which might be useful. So there is a console in Postman where you can see all the interactions that are happening. So let me again start this flow. I will clear the cookies and again do a get new access token. So this time it didn't show the login page because I already had a valid authentication session. So it reused that same session. So, and again, it generated a new access token ID token for that same user. So here in the console, I will close this one. You can see that request that was sent to Cognito, the token endpoint request. So if you look at this request, right, you can check this request body where it sends certain values like authorization code, the code that got generated after the user authenticated, the redirect URI, the code verifier, client ID, client secret is empty. So this is how the token is obtained, the access token, refresh token, and ID token. You can even verify this in the Cognito documentation token endpoint if you go to this token endpoint you can scroll down here and see what are all the parameters that are passed to the token endpoint and except this authorization header you will see everything else here because in this case we are testing a pixie client which doesn't have a secret so there is no authorization header basically 
so this is how you do uh, create a pixie client in cognito and do your end to end test easily using a postman tool if you are building your own application obviously you can test with your application as well but for a quick test you can use this postman you can easily set up the cognito and do this end to end testing i hope you enjoyed this video and if you face any issues you can go back and refer the video or if you if you can't find uh, the exact solution please post a comment please post that exact issue in the comments and i will be happy to help you thank you again and again please subscribe to my channel